Okay, special viewers, welcome back to the Tiberian Sun Adventures channel. And today we're talking about cheat maps. And this is something I didn't know too much about until recently. I knew that there was cheat maps. I didn't really know how they worked um, until a player started telling me about them. And today I actually managed to find my first cheat map, at least that I was aware of. Um, obviously cheat maps give you advantages on the map with technology, uh, money I imagine as well, free radar, and even free units as I discovered today. Um, and I'm going to show you the map in a moment, but I want to talk about some other things that I've learned which I find are pretty valuable in terms of trying to find and discover cheat maps. And the first one is that warning sign, I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, but basically what happened in this game, I was position number 6 as GDI up against 5 other Nod players, and they set the map, we started, and... I saw I had spare units and there was weird technology that, that I hadn't teched up to yet. And uh, I just thought someone had set a bullshit map and I just said, what the fuck? And no one else said anything else. And they kept playing as normal. And then I um, later on realized that um, it was a cheat map. And uh, <laughs> it's pretty funny. But uh, I'll show you that map because it's quite interesting. So um, what I'll do now is explain what this warning section is. Um, I actually thought originally this was uh, a sign that would say warning if it was not a Westwood map, one of the original ones, or no cheats, if it was a Westwood map, turns out that there is actually a list of pre-approved uh, checksums, and this is an MD5 hash of the contents of that map, so it is unique and specific to that map, and it cannot be changed. This name can be changed, and that's just a fake name that this uh, map creator has put together, but that checksum um, is actually the contents of the map that has been uh, hashed out to that uh, checksum, so it's unique. So the um, Humble will actually provide a list of checksums of pre-approved maps and when um, that checksum is found that will show up as um, no cheats and I'll give you an example of that now if we go into and actually John told me about this uh, thing up oh man if I can get this thing to open um, I think these are all approved I'm not sure maybe if we open one up no cheats so that's an approved map and, and Humble actually does manage this uh, list of approved maps pretty regularly, which I, again, wasn't aware of. If we get a custom, maybe click on this one. So, okay, so there actually are some ones that uh, may have cheats. By the way, if it says warning, it doesn't mean it is a cheat map. It just means it's not approved. Uh, and and so that, that list, as I said, is regularly maintained. Now, if I go back to uh, find the cheat map, Giants 3 versus 3. It is a nod. It says it's a nod rescue map, and I think I've actually got three. Oh, man, giants. Three v three. All maps. I don't know why it's giving me these other maps, but let's just see if I can find it anyway. So we open this up. Um, we can. Okay, so zero four six three is the cheat map, as I said. Um, so we're going to open this up now. I tried to find the trigger. I, I was in six A is green. Um, and uh, it actually turned out as because it's GDI. So no one really plays... Well, there's a few people that play uh, Giant as GDI, but not very many. So if you are a host, if you're the only GDI player, you could probably switch out that map pretty quick without anyone noticing. Um, and, uh, yeah, end up with all these advantages. And they... The map... Um, sorry, the host will try to conceal the fact that it is a cheat map. Um, but they, you know, if you're not careful, you will reveal it is a cheat map. And I'll give, um, and you're going to see immediately there's issues, uh, you know, there's there's uh, things that will give it away to you as a player that it is a cheat map, but no one else could see this. As I said when I was playing with these other players, they couldn't see this. Um, now, yeah, immediately with uh, multi-missile free radar, you can see other stuff on the map and free units uh, and technology already. I, you know, I was like, what the hell's going on? Um, now, this is actually pretty clever that you can scan out these parts. I'm not sure if, if I ally with my allies that they can see this stuff, but I'd imagine if I allied with other players uh, that they would be able to see immediately this is a cheat map um, and that I, as a host, am a cheat, right? But normally what you do is build a GDI power plant um, first, but you can actually build a whole lot of other stuff first. Um, okay, now what I was going to say is that once you've finished with um, these scouting units, the immediate thing I thought to do was to send them into the, uh, what is it, into the veins to destroy them. And I've actually seen in the past, like a year or two or three years ago or something, 
just something blow up in my veins and I've been like what the hell is that and now it kind of makes sense that they were probably using a cheat map on me and it was a stealth unit that had just scouted me so um, yeah super weird now the other thing is there is actually a building up here that the other players because as I said I was down in position number six and um, they discovered it so I think the other thing is you want to set position number one if you were this uh, using this cheat map and you'd pretend that this, and that I later found out was a uh, EMP pulse cannon. And you'd use that EMP and, you know, it's usually pretty hard to find out who shot that EMP. Um, so even if you don't have an EMP pulse cannon in your base, uh, you could use it and just pretend it was this guy down here that had it. Um, but they did find a building. And actually, what I might do is see if I can... Um, oh, actually, an MSA probably wouldn't find my... Construction complete. I don't know how you do it. New construction um, yeah, all this stuff that you can build already, like Building. Ghost Stalkers without tech. If I move this uh, thing, it's going to blow. But yeah, they did manage to find a building up here. And I, that is, I'd imagine, the... Uh... Oh, it's up here. There it is. Okay, so that's where the MP is, just um, off, the, uh, off the map. And they blew it up, so... Construction complete. Yep, yeah, okay. So yeah, some really funny stuff going on, but obviously um, I can scout this, um, I already have scouted this section out, which means it will be easy to send units into and see what my opponents are doing. So um, yeah, really interesting. I just thought it was an interesting discovery that I'd share with you guys. But as I said, if you see something blowing up in the veins, um, also check it, you know, check these sections for, I guess, um, buildings, although I guess they could hide it anyway. It'd be in your opponent's side, by the way, so maybe that's going to be difficult to scout out. Um, I'm not sure if that's like... Maybe I'll see if I can get to it or something. Build a couple of jump jets and send them up there. Maybe if I make a... Uh, Orca fighter, I can get there a little bit quicker. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but... Um, when I... Uh, man, I forget. Does that EMP pulse seem to load a little bit quicker? I'm not sure. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Uh, I'm not sure where this missile's coming from either. Let's just have a look around. Let's see where it comes from. So we can identify where this... Uh... Oh, it's coming from the base. Okay, so maybe... I think we can find it. Although maybe what I can do is open up... Ah, there it is. Okay, so... I can sell it, but... It shows me that it's still loading. Maybe what I should do is open the editor and find out what's going on with the editor. Maybe there's other EMPs. I should be able to track down where the other EMPs are. But, I mean, you could sell that, and maybe that's another good indication that they're using a um, cheat map is if there's, if you see infantry in their veins, which is not really where you would normally um, see that type of thing. Let's try to get the rest of this map open. And, um, so, okay, can't use EMP there, can use it here. Yeah, so it looks like uh, whoever built this map has put EMPs in every corner. Unit and maybe that's the more difficult one to conceal. Alright, so it's down here. Okay, interesting. So, and that multi-missile came from down here as well. So it looks like they've positioned something off the map. Um, yeah, but it looks like there's uh, EMPs and that's the easiest one to conceal. Uh, sorry, the hardest one to conceal because the other ones um, I can't seem to see anything else but yeah if you see anything blow up in the veins um, or if you suspect there's a cheat map make sure you get the checksum now uh, humble can actually ban those maps I believe if he finds that there is a cheat map uh, he's able to um, yeah remove it from or you know ban it from CNC net but anyway guys hope you find this um, useful as I said always check that uh, warning section and uh, yeah that's it from me guys I'm uh, just thinking if there's anything else I want to show you guys. I just really want to see if I can see any other... No. 
Okay. Battle control offline. Anyway, I'll uh, catch you guys next time. Hope you find it interesting.